Hi, this is Frank at Frank's Friendly Cars. So today I want to demonstrate something that can be useful, which is how to test compression out of the car. Uh, in this particular case, I've bought a JDM engine. It's a 1MZ FE Toyota 3.0 liter V6. This is a uh, JDM engine from an importer and uh, it is uh, supposed to have 40, between 40 and 60 thousand miles as is the case with all of these JDM engines. So the big question is before I put it in the car, the car being this Toyota Highlander with a seized engine that I'm getting ready to remove, okay? So how do I know that this engine is good? Um, I did a leak down test on this engine and uh, the results were inconclusive. It's hard to know with a leak down test when an engine has been sitting for a while because uh, the valves might accumulate a little bit of corrosion on the back and then they might not seal properly. So you'll get uh, air coming out of the intake and uh, exhaust ports when you do the leak down, right? But the real test is the compression test, okay? And, uh, or not, maybe not the real test, but another very useful data point before deciding whether I'm gonna tear this engine down or whether I'm gonna put it straight into the car. So how to test this engine for compression out of the car, okay, and uh, I have a little rig here. I have a bell housing. I have an old bell housing that I keep around, and uh, it's a bell housing from an E-153. Okay, now the thing is that these bell housings between Toyota V6s, they're almost all interchangeable. So I could have used, for example, a bell housing from an S54, of which I have one of those lying around. But uh, I would have had to tear down that transmission, which I didn't feel like doing this morning. Anyway, this E153 bell housing was just sitting there. So I mashed up the dowels and bolted up a couple of bolts, and that holds it securely to the engine. Then I got a starter. Okay, and this is actually a starter from an S54 5S FE combo, right? And the starter plugs right in to this bell housing, no problem. And it engages with the pressure plate or flywheel or whatever you want to call it, this being a automatic transmission. Okay, so then, uh, all right, so how am I gonna get this to crank? Well, I got a power pack. I put the positive of the power pack on the positive pole of the starter, okay? Then I take this wire, alligator clip, and I put it onto the solenoid connector, okay? And I put this little cardboard behind it just to insulate it so it doesn't come in contact with anything. So the other end is right here. Okay, so now I take the negative, I take the negative, the ground, and I grounded the transmission. I could ground it anywhere on the transmission. So this is, you know, just as the transmission would be grounded in the car, except that all it is is a bell housing at this point, right? Okay, so. Now, I have my compression tester in the cylinder right here. Okay, you see it's reading zero right now. And all I have to do is to get it to crank. Okay, so I take this, and do not do this at home, please. I'm just kidding. You know, do this any way you want, but just don't kill yourself. All right, so I bring this in contact. Okay, and 
this causes the edge of the crank and okay and we can read our uh, compression up here well this cylinder isn't all that great it's only getting about 150 okay which is not fantastic but uh, we'll let everything cool down for a minute and we'll give it another try see if it builds up any more now um, yeah so that's it that's the basic idea you've seen it here first on Frank's friendly cars and uh, hope this helps you in whatever project that you want to do thanks for watching <laughs>